Welcome back to new exercise in SOLIDWORKS. This is the water pump cover and we are going to, we try to allocate all the dimensions properly but let's see how it works. So here this is the water pump cover and uh, we are going to start with this top, top side and uh, here we hide all the tangent faces so it looks like but if we see in isometric view this is the actual product now this is the outer line so we are going to start with this outer line you will note down all the dimensions 2 inch this all units are in inches see there is a curve 1, one inch and uh, distance from center point is 2 inch 65 radius 1.25 2 inch this all dimensions you have to note down carefully and we will not make together at a time all the sketch and allocate dimension we will make simultaneously drawing and uh, sketches and dimension so that we will get a perfect shape otherwise it will be mesh now here 1.35 and this center distance 1.5 2.5 is the radius uh, center distance of this radius 5.5 then here are some more dimensions so let's see some now make sure first you have to change units IPS okay now we are going to start with top plane click top plane sketch now let's activate center line draw this center line escape key again activate center line and draw one horizontal line make sure it is passes through origin that's it now activate line tool now let's start from here something go back to here now go back to the point and see your arc will be line will be converted into arc but we don't need half we need something like a, if not going then escape and activate here three point arc something like this now escape key to out again activate line tool make sure you are going to draw a horizontal line then go little up then again come back and see it's also going to convert into arc look don't try to create any relation otherwise it is difficult exit now let's allocate dimension to this activate smart dimension this is 2 inch now these angle 65 degree now this center point it's 1.25 and this 1 inch perfect and uh, this point from center is 2 inch that's it and this point from center also 2 inch that's it now even though this point from this line 1.5 inch okay let's adjust this that's why i told you don't try to do something like your geometry will be an invalid or create some problem so do slowly slowly not at a time these radius 1.375 oh that's perfect also this point this point from here to here in drawing it shows 0 0.525 inch okay one more relation hold shift key this line and this line make relation collinear you will see here option collinear okay now this is going to be defined okay perfect now if you check here again one curve then it, uh, line this uh, 12 degree and this is 55 degree and there is two curve here see there is two curve 0 0.375 0 0.375 these center points of these curves are horizontal this is important then there is one long curve going to here and there is a straight line so this center distance from this corner it's uh, 9 inch this corner 1.25 radius 130 degree 
this is 5.5 inch and this line radius uh, center distance is 2.75 choose these radius 1.25 0.54 from this center line 1.125 this is the distance from here to this center line let's try to complete again click line I'm going to again go back to the point and see my line converted into arc. This is important. Uh, I'm going to convert a kind of arc up to something like, don't create any relation, otherwise it uh, makes problem for you. Then do something like uh, line. Then again go back to the point and see it is converted into arc. Click here, again it's line. Again go, go back to the point and move and see it is arc. We will like this, okay. First, make few relations, select these two equal. Oh, that's it. Now, let's allocate this. Now, now these points should be come down, okay. Now, this point from here, point four, or oh, not uh, delete point, not center line. only below distance 0.4 1.25 radius okay and this point distance from this line 1.125 that's perfect and then let's define this 0 0.375 if you want to see here only two digit so you can go to tolerance precision choose here 3 and you will see here 3 digit. Now one more important relation hold shift key and select the center point of this both the arc horizontal. This is important relation. Okay. Now let's check what else here balance. Angle. First define this angle. 55 degree similarly this angle 12 degree okay this is going to be defined Le activate line tool and start from this point to be something here now go back to the point and it's aut automatic going to convert into arc but no activate three point arc connect these two lines Make sure you make tangent this point. Five point five. Okay. Now make important relation again. Sixty five. Again, this one. 2 inch that's also perfect and uh, click this one and hold shift key select the line merge A smart point select this point from this line again choose the point this line if you find difficult directly choose this arc from this point uh, center line and this is 2.75 look okay now these are the defined activate fillet sketch fillet and this is 1.25 0. Point, no this is actually 1.225 inch now select this line and this line and see is going to convert say okay now one important relation Activate dimension tool, select this point, hold shift key and select the outer edge of this and draw a vertical horizontal distance, 9 inch, enter. Look, our drawing is fully defined. How need to extrude? Now, this is the uh, side view. Uh, okay, this is the section view. 
one inch we have to extrude see carefully and there is a draft angle 7 degree inward see it is going inside so it, it is inward then we have to create this solid part also you will see here 1.75 center distance 5 degree this is the uh, this uh, blank part is hollow part so first we have to create a solid part 1.5 1.5 these two lines are parallel and 3 inch from bottom this is going to start from here so first uh, extrude and keep end condition blind and this is 1 inch draft angle 7 degree see it is going inside look inward direction say ok ok now let us apply choose a plane Front plane is also sufficient because uh, a sketch activate draw tapered tapered and connect select construction so that it, it makes ease for doing. parallel this is important relation now select this point and this center distance if you move cursor outside you will get diameter 1.75 inch 5 degree the angle this point 3 inch outside dimension and uh, this length 1.5 Similarly here 1.5 inch. Now this is fully defined. Revolve boss base. Now it is asking you would you like to close the geometry because we choose construction line here. So say yes. If we choose uh, solid line it won't it will not ask you. But it is difficult to allocate this center uh, this diameter. Now here axis of revolution selected. Angle 360 degree because we want full body and condition say blind look now here 7 edges 0.5 1 2 3 4 5 6 and the 7 these edges are going to be allocate 0.5 radius then one more radius you will see this section view uh, this uh, side view this upper side 0 0.3275 radius that is it ok then uh, ok let us do this fillet keep constant size fillet 0 0.5 now 1 2 ok rotate 3 4 5 6 and this last one 7 0.5 say ok again activate fillet 0 0.275 and I will choose upper edge see the whole path is selected constant size fillet symmetric and this is 0.275 say yes look now now it is time to make this stem on this uh, part with the help of lifted boss base tool but first we have to create in multiple parts so here you will see this feature going to create in many ways so first we will use lifted boss base so 3 inch plane 1 5 inch plane 2 6 inch plane 3 now here note in written blue color plane sketches are same so the sketches on plane 2 and plane 3 are same it is defined by blue color so for this path we need to make a 4 sketches 3 inch plane 1 so if you come down here you will see 
in section view this black color 1.75 the box size width of box 2.5 inch and distance from the bottom edge is 0.25 it is going to be in front plane then the second blue color plane that uh, plane 1 1.25 the width of this 2 inch and the distance 0.375 and the plane third and fourth have this circle 1 2 5 and we allocated four uh, dots in this one inch because uh, we want a perfect shape so we need a point on the sketch so first plane is there front plane and let's create plane 1 plane 1 here choose 3 inch flip direction 3 inch ok now again choose front plane activate plane now here select 5 inch flip offset one quantity ok again click front plane plane now this time choose 6 inch flip one instances say ok now first I will create plane 1 activate center rectangle now 1.75 tap key in keyboard 2.5 inch enter escape now make few relation like hold shift key origin point hold shift key and center point vertical relation now define the gap this outer line 0.125 inch exit now go to plane 1 sketch now again activate center rectangle and this is going to be width is 1.25 press tap key in keyboard and the length 2 inch escape to out activate the smart dimension define the distance from outer edge and that is 0 0.375 still not defined so choose the center point and origin point make relation horizontal see this is fully defined because it is in black color if I am going to see exit now let's hide this now go to second plane sketch activate circle and this exactly lies on the same point and this is 1.25 ok now a split entity search here go to command now here you will see a split entities just click and you have to allocate four points one two three four okay now four points are allocated just define select these two points horizontal relation similarly these two points horizontal relation again select the upper point lower point equal similarly these two points vertical now we divide activate the smart dimension tool these dimension shows one inch now we divide this in four segments four curves because these points are important for us say exit now hide this plane also now select the last plane a sketch Now select this one by one convert entity, second convert entity, third convert entity and the fourth convert entity. Exit. Click plane, hide. Now why we choose this I will show you. Go to lifted boss base. Now first is profile. We have to choose close profile. So I am going to choose this point. This is first profile, second profile. Now I am going to choose this 
so that we will get a perfect shape of body. That's why we allocate these points. Similarly here. Look. Now rest everything keep default and everything same. Look. Perfectly created our body according to our geometry. This is hollow from back side. If you will see here also in isometric view. Now what you have to make, you have to make this holes, this extruded part. You will see here also the height 1.25, here also 1 inch draft inward. Okay. So these whole positions are here. 0.75 see this uh, construction line it is touched with this this whole tangent with edges of part so this whole is tangent with the edges of part 5 places means all whole 3.5 2.1 this upper one this is also tangent and this is 0.275 here shows because we are looking from top view. If we choose bottom view, it will go upside. I will show you. A sketch. That is it. Okay, activate circle. Now draw one circle and 0 0.75. Zero point seven five. Okay. Now let me draw here Now first select all the circles Okay, it's not going to happen. So select uh, hold shift key and select all circles one by one leave shift key and you will see the option equal. That's it. Now these are the in one line according to drawing, this is one line according to drawing, okay, dimension. Now this is going to be 3.45, 2 point. one. Okay, now what we will do? Now here let us make few relations. Hold shift key, select this and this tangent. It should go down. So even though you can draw, see it is move here. Similarly, let us make few relations. This point and this point vertical tangent. Now hold shift key, this point in this outer arc, tangent relation. Similarly, but here we have important relation, the vertical distance, 0.275. That is it extrude. It is going downward, change direction and condition, height 1.25 and if you see draft angle, 1 degree, not 7, 1 degree inward, say ok. Now let us make this inlet pipes, this length 4 inch, 30 degree from one side, 0.75 this, the diameter here, uh, no this is radius actually, 0.37 for this, 0.5 for the outer one, 0.75, let us make this then we will mirror this also, once the, we will do this, okay there are many face fillet, you will see here face fillet 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0
upper and side upper and side in both direction if you see the bottom view face fillet 0.15 lower and side face okay i'll show you how so first uh, we will make select this face sketch now here let's start line draw here a line exit now select this point tangent okay let's draw one more line vertical construction line activate smart dimension first angle 30 degree now here is the width 0.5 inch zero point three seven five inch now the length four inch this length zero point seven five inch now this is fully defined this sketch okay activate revolve boss base tool now here you have to choose axis of revolution so I'm going to choose this one three hundred sixty degree end condition blind say yes now look choose mirror plane right plane feature mirror select this see it's going to mirror say yes look it's mirror now let's come to this activate fillet now here i am going to choose face fillet so this is the face fillet upper face the second one is lower face and here the distance 0.2 25 inch symmetric radius 0.25 inch say ok again fillet upper fillet the face one upper side face I am going to choose this side 0.25 again activate fillet now this time I am going to select bottom in second column side to and this is 0.15 again activate again item set one bottom set two this side 0.15 inch circular symmetric say yes okay that's it this is what we choose now once we chose this all you will see these corners have radius 0.175 and thickness shell 0.08 you will see in section view the ribs are excluded from shell command so that's why it is shown so solid here so let's apply and uh, these are the holes so you have to apply on these corners also even you will see here also the holes top also have hole So choose constant size fillet 0 0.0175. Now here I am going to choose what things going to select. One, two, okay. Now I am going to choose this edge, this edge. okay let's directly choose bottom edge so that it will automatically detect all the edges you don't need to okay only the balance here see is all side is covered so only this much faces we need to apply here say okay now let's apply shell tool now the thickness here is 0 0.08 
show preview first let me apply 1 2 this face because these faces are going to open perfect say yes and you will see this is our hollow part Now, if he comes here, there is a rib. You have to create a rib. Rib dimension you will see from here. This is the rib and rib are solid 3.5 from bottom, 2.5 from center. Once you complete rib thickness, you will see in this drawing 0.275, 1 degree outward direction then there is a full round fillet okay and uh, see around rib point 175 this is also the radius around rib so let's apply front plane sketch activate line tool make sure it is coincide with any line of this okay the blue red orange means it is coincide say exit activate smart dimension first distance from origin point or center 2.5 inch and uh, from bottom it's 3 3.5 inch Now activate rib. Now keep thickness both side and uh, it is 2.0.275. Arrow also moving in same towards body. So that is also we need. No need to define anything. Degree. One degree draft outward. That's you have to check. Say okay. Look. This is going to be 1 degree outside. Now, if uh, fillet 0 0.175. Okay, before going to fillet, let us apply full round fillet. Here, set 1, click set 2, this face, set 3 this face see it is going to be create a full round fillet say yes look mirror right plane now here fillet as well as you have to choose rib both say okay look fillet this time constant size fillet 0 okay 0 0.175 is already selected so i'm going to choose one edge and this one edge because both sides have same fillet say okay now it's time to add some more fillets see here outer edge 0.625 inner edge 0.265 See this, there is open edge. All the open edges have this dimension you have to allocate. Is all open ports of this inlet and outlet. Fillet 0 0.0625. This is going to be outlet. Constant size fillet. I am going to choose outside. Outside and this side. Similarly, outside and here also outside outside choose this corner outside
Now, here we almost selected this corner also. Okay, this all selected, say okay. Now, but we forget to add dimension here. So, select this, fillet 7, edit feature. Now, click this edge because this is going to be cover similarly this edge. Say okay. That's it. Again fillet and this time constant size fillet inner edges 0 0.025. Okay. Constant size, let us choose inner one. For this also inner one. All the edges which is going have inner edge, this is inner one. inner one and here also we have inner edge. You have to patiently select all the edges. Now the last one only. Now almost all the edges are perfectly fit, say ok. Now that is it, this is the our water pump cover. We covered all the features and sketches here. Let us apply appearance metal. We will apply iron, send blast iron, again edit appearance and from here you can little down or something like the color what you like to use, say ok. See, I hope you learn, do not forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching.